That's already Russia will be very very keen to keep that going but New Zealand probably the most composed team that we see in these series let's see what they can do so Nathan Wong kicks a nice high one tapped back there by Russia that's for Vrontseva with the ball now. formerly Kabiva and Russia get a nice little break through Kudanova who has got plenty of wheels no doubt about that just going slightly backwards there but they have position Russia running across the field there Petrova still going and Russia they keep attacking and this is a lovely little run and it's going to be the first point to Mikhotseva who used to be Bogacheva she's another who got married but what a way to start Russia Great start from Russia, confusing us with all the marriages over the summer. That's Mikhotseva, you, you will remember as Bogacheva, always very, very pacey, really quick off the mark. And here she just sees a bit of space in front of her, bang straight through. Not even Portia Woodman's going to catch her there. <coughs> New Zealand defence didn't number up, didn't spread out from that ruck. It was a lovely quick ball at the breakdown, wasn't it, that created that. We saw in the last game, really scrappy breakdown here. Quick, clear ball of that breakdown enables the attack to be on the front foot. And Mikhail Sova makes the best of it. It is a day for upset so far. Here at the women's sevens. Kudanova. With the kickoff. Back. Not taken cleanly by New Zealand, and now Russia push up. They had the ball, but driven over the sideline there by Nathan Wong from New Zealand. So a quick throw in. Chubik passes out to Brazier. Brazier with the dummy. Woodman cut back, but taken care of by the D. And Russia just throwing themselves in there. Any loose ball, but it's a penalty. Chubik takes it. To Brazier and now Broughton with a beautiful stepping game. Nathan Wong. Out on the far side there is Ruby Tui from Canterbury. Sets up the ruck here in Russia. Attacking that turn, making it very untidy for New Zealand. And they take possession from that. Russia always work very, very hard at the breakdown and they're getting a bit of joy from that at the moment against New Zealand. Taking their time with this penalty, setting everything up, bringing a training ground move. Play on. Yep. Kudanova gives him away. Short ball is missed. Just running across the field. So much speed here. Russia. And it's out now to the Kultseva. The try scorer. Chris Diak throws a bit of a wobbly one. They have to go back. Petrova. Right. Defence here from New Zealand up. I think it was Chubik trying to get her foot through and steal the ball, unable to do so. They love running backwards and sideways. It's a Russian team, they back their pace. And that's Kazakova. Dummy on. Wrapped up here. Roll, roll, roll! Pierce DX at half back. Once again, against New Zealand. Pierce DX gets a Pass off to Petrova, attacking the line hard. Russia up to the 22 now. Then out to Mikhotseva. He's doing a good job keeping the whip on the wing. Kezakova, defence up on Peristiak. And that was a great run from New Zealand, but Kudanova was there to collect. Still, Russia, never-ending supply of position. And this is a run on the run on the inside, slides back. And Russia go two up, another try. Russia doing such a good job of keeping possession. That was Vorontseva scored that try. Used to be Kavaye, but it was a lovely finish. It's the angles that Russia cutting. Look at the pace, he just cuts in. New Zealand defence has drifted. 
it's interesting. Russia are doing a lot of drifting across the pitch, but New Zealand aren't necessarily getting up in their faces as we would, we would ordinarily expect. It's giving Russia a little bit more time on the ball, and they're, so they're able to recycle it. So 12 points to nil, Russia. Kudanova. Right through the middle. 14 plays nil now as we have another look. It's just a very, very well cut hard line, wasn't it? Not difficult. Very, very well done. Well, you have to have the ball to score points and position has been totally in Russia's favour. Yeah, and unusually New Zealand didn't claim the last kickoff um, directly and, and, you know, that's what put them under pressure right from the off. Need to get this one. And once again, kickoff not claimed. Pane there. Finally, Brazier has it. Good ball back to Chubik. Is that a mistake there? New Zealand, Russia batted it backwards. Tackles going in. Ball pops out. Russia scrambling. Christie has it all in a collision. That went. It looked like it went for, but referee says okay. So Petrova has it now on that far side of the field. She's playing with the defence. And Nathan Paul tries to come over and make that tackle. She's hurt herself in the process, but Petrova three tries. What a tuna. The pace that Russia are playing this game with is phenomenal. Petrova that time, but it everything Russia were doing, they're doing with real intention, real pace. First of all, it was Petrova. Just brilliant on the inside, on the outside, and Tyler Nathan Wong just can't catch her. Yes, three years ago here in Dubai, there was a 12 all draw between these two teams, but Russia had never beaten New Zealand despite coming close a number of times. But with three tries in the first half, it would be one heck of a turnaround for the Kiwis to come back. Although, of course, we have seen them do that once or twice in the past, not least in Dubai finals. Usually against Australia, those ones. So they had a, a difficult tip kick to try and get over. So half-time, Russia playing some sparkling sevens ahead of New Zealand, 19 points to nil. А уже когда все пробежали мимо, ты выбрасываешь мяч. Увидите раньше. Девочки, смотрите, вы играете все идеально правильно. Все идеально правильно. Только есть одно но. Вы не играете в чужую игру. У вас есть тысячу моментов, где можно пойти, продавить и еще остановиться, подбросить мяч. Вы его не подбрасываете. Вы все уходите на землю, человек строит раки. Останавливайтесь, даже вот когда ты убегаешь здесь. Останавливайтесь, начинайте на ногах. Толкнулись на плотной защиты, продавили. Попробуйте сначала найти партнера. Подбросьте мяч. Девочки, сейчас нельзя себя жалеть. Надо все время. Надя, в каждом моменте в защите отрабатывайте. Лучше потом больше отдыхайте, время на вас работает. Свистой был? Отдыхайте, пожалуйста. До свистка все вкалывают. Вперед. Давай, Россия! Well, if that's not going to get you fired up, nothing will. Pebble Baranovsky there. They've certainly played with a lot of intention, emotion, aggression, all of that. The pace that they've gone through, all the pace at every point has been what has impressed me. There's never a player sort of hanging around on the ball, not sure what they're going to do next. They have at every point, even if they're taking it sideways, as they've done a little bit of, they're taking it sideways at pace. Cutting lines, finishing around the outside, makes it so challenging for the defence at least. So Russia switched sides there, a very quick kick by Kudanova because New Zealand was not up. 
it was Brazier who had to try and get over. So Russia win a great tap that's from them. The wraparound, big hit on there from Borton. Great attack here, really close to the rucks. Every ball that goes to the ground they pick up. So now on the 22 again, New Zealand just can't get their mitts on the ball. Sarah Dina in there. Peristack. And here's a bit of loose ball for Gail Broughton. Gail Broughton is on to it. She's got the whole park in front of her. No defence. So New Zealand finally, finally gets some points. A bit of a lucky break for New Zealand. The ball dropping loose, but could be a hugely influential moment in the game. New Zealand finally managed to get their hands on the ball, and it's a clear, simple run in for Gail Broughton, a 25th try. What a moment in this game that could turn out to be. So here's another look at where it broke down for Russia. Yeah, it was just a pass to nobody, wasn't it? Gordon was up on the fence. Yeah, and New Zealand, no Russia Woodman out there at the moment either. Sorry. So Time Michaela on. Blyde Time has come on to replace her. There's Gordon, the try scorer. I know that Woodman had a bit of a knock at training the other day. Maybe they've just been. Keeping it safe here, 20 passes to eight. Just telling about the amount of possession the teams have had, hasn't it? New Zealand have hardly managed to get their hands on the ball. One of those Russian passes was completed to Gail Broughton, the last play. Nathan Wong once again with that switch. And just over the head there of Serendina. So I guess that is an alright result for New Zealand, but Russia will get the throw in. Uh, and also 25 tackles made, six missed for New Zealand. Yeah, they'll have to fix that up. Yeah, there's been a lot of Russia really strong runners, a lot of handing off, hasn't there? New Zealand tapping just slightly too high, and Russia has been able to push them off. So good line out there for the Russian girls. Petrova feeds it back in the corner of the road to Kirstiak. Down on the right hand side now is Mikitsova. Taken down just by Kane and Nathan Wall. So they continue. Russia with another good short hit up there from Vorontseva. Just keeping the ball alive, Serendina. She gets it away too. Hit back by Kudanova, who's playing Release a little now. wider in this match compared to what we saw here last season. And once again, Petrova, they relentless. The big hole there, the defensive player came off, and Russia will score again. And it's Mokutsova. What a try. What a lovely, lovely play that was. Everything good about this Russian team today. The way that she cuts the angle, Milkutsova, there. It's the pace of the whole move that makes it. So Petrova runs out, outwards, but real pace. The defence has to go with her, leaving the space for Mikhail Sova to come back into. There she gets drawing Tui over. So Tui and Tane on the same person. Huge space then for Mikhail Sova, and she's got the pace to finish it. Yep. Tui needed to stay on the inside player. She overcommitted on her wrong person. That and the player inside of her, when there's so much pace going on in the attack, the player at three in defence, you've got two in Tane, one and two, the player at three has to close the space between, between her and Tui. 26 to 7, this is that score, the most points Russia has ever scored against New Zealand. Wow, we. That's the best thing about women's sevens competition is that anyone can take it out. Look how close it is. Exciting stuff. Woodman is back out there. And that's Pata Simpkins. Pata Simpkins. Gets a basketball pass away to Brazier. And now they're on the right hand side. 
plenty of pace out here. Blyde. Tagaluli. Brazier. That's not so clean, fortunately. Niall Williams out there now in the number nine jersey debut. Ethel Aronofsky keeps his girls on task and focused. Get the impression he's quite excited about this. Interesting to see Hamidova coming onto the pitch. Russia have achieved all of this without Hamidova, one of their standout players. And look at that stat ball given away four by New Zealand. When was the last game that we saw that? Happen. And here we go, another beautiful run by Kudanova. Where's the defence? It's nowhere. She's got jetpacks on her shoes, and this is a significant try for Russia. There is no way New Zealand can come back now. Absolutely phenomenal result for New Zealand. Brilliant running by Nadetska Kudanova. Great vision around the breakdown. 29 tries for her now, but look, she looks up, sees that they've not got out of that scrum quickly enough. Sarah Goss desperately chasing her but Kudanova's got pace but it was the vision you know there was a move <coughs> called that she didn't go with the move she saw there was a space and went for it but what a Denmark. performance from Russia 31-7 it is right now against New Zealand what a start to the World Series for them and that kick good five tries to one 33 to seven they must have had a great summer of training, these girls. They look fit, they look fast, they've got everything. They do fit, fast and organised. They seem to know what each other's doing, cutting lines off each other and getting the ball to them. Play on. And this will be New Zealand's heaviest ever defeat. How about that, folks? These teams have turned up to play. Russia have not qualified for the Olympics yet. They're in the repechage and they will go into it knowing that they'll be dominant and look at this, they certainly are. Seven penalty, Just puts her head down and goes for it. Attacking, ball off now to Kazakova. That goes loose. Brazier has possession, uses her beautiful footwork in, out. Now she looks for black jerseys. It's Williams. Williams does a dummy. Goes for half gap, but it goes forward in the tackle. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The third 